All right, hello, I'm Impulse Vox, and welcome to what I am calling Super Simple Sundays. This is where I take comments or questions or tutorial ideas from you all, this one from Super Skip here, and just turn it into a super quick tutorial that I record and or post on Sundays. I am pushing the limit right now, uh, but we'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, with my how to make Pokemon layouts video, whether or not it can work with stream elements. Uh, you can see here, I show how to build the layout, and I mostly add it into OBS using uh, image sources. And I have a stack of image sources here, and add it manually in OBS. And to be fair to me, the video was made over a year ago, or at least the process and the screen captures and stuff were made over a year ago. So, there's that. Uh, <laughs> But to answer the question, yes, you can do this in Stream Elements, and I'm going to show you this with both the layout I made and the free one uh, that I had released from someone else as well. So I'm going to do a whole tutorial series at some point about Stream Elements. I do think it is the way to go moving forward. Uh, go to my overlays here as being able to just import your layouts like instantly, like most things set up into OBS Studio is pretty great, and you can resize them e more easily. Whereas in OBS, if you have them all managed in image sources, you have to resize everything. So I'm gonna make a new overlay. Overlay resolution, 1080p is fine. Start, we're gonna call this Pokemon Heart Gold. Gameplay Duo, because it's gonna have two game screens. Uh, we can add a widget. And we're going to add static image source. Now here we have to actually find the images. So let me grab these super quick. So here we have the icons for, or the image individual files for what I called the splices, which are the different frames. Now for the most part, I can actually export all of this as a singular file instead of spliced up. And so I'm actually going to do that for this instance. Uh, but you can do all of this process with a singular, you know, by, by uploading the individual files. When exporting layouts like this, if you want to make your life easier, you take, so for example, we'll go to gameplay sides. I have these black squares, which represent uh, the individual gameplay portions. If I turn it off, you just have the gradient in the background. To make your life easier, select those pixels and then come to your background layer, which for me is this one, which has a gradient overlay. I'm actually going to duplicate this layer and hide one of them. And I'm going to raster size the layer style so it's all just one file. So now we select these individual black squares that represent the gameplay sides and the webcam. And instead of just leaving them black, we are going to make our lives easier. We're going to select the pixels and delete those pixels from the background. You can see on this thumbnail, it now shows transparency through it. And I'm going to do the same thing for the left. Delete it out of the background. And same thing with the webcam layer. Delete it out of the background. Now, if we go to these individual layers and disable the fill, you don't want to hide the layer or disable the opacity because that will affect any layer styles, such as the stroke, the outlines. But if we disable fill, that'll just get rid of the black color. Now we have transparency. So instead of having to perfectly align our webcam or gameplay in front of everything here, we can do it behind everything, which is a lot easier. Now there is one issue here in that the webcam scene specifically is actually over top of the rest of the top bar. So I'm gonna have to go in here. We're gonna duplicate this, hide it, select pixels, delete it out of there. Duplicate that one, hide the second one, raster size, layer style. Come back here and select our pixels again. All right, now we have a clear webcam view as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and then export it again. And this way you can manage your webcam and your gameplay and stuff behind the graphic layer, which will save you a lot of headache because trying to get it lined up over top in the exact right position and blah, blah, blah is a nightmare. All right, so we're done with Photoshop. Back to stream elements, set image. We're going to upload. Drag it in, good to go, upload, and submit. Now, of course, this is not correct. Scale it up to size. I feel like the bottom is cut off there, 1920 by 1080. I guess that's fine. I guess that works. All right, center. There we go. 
Yeah, that should be good. So that is the image, and then when we add this, so here we can also, so this was just the image source. So now we come in here, alerts, alert box, we want the alerts to appear like next to our camera here. So now we resize that element, put it over here, take up this little area of space. Our party goes down here, we have room down here to put an event list or something if we have it. Merch. Chat, we could just put like a little chat scroll there. That could be pretty cool. Or labels. I'm gonna do labels. Latest subscriber. I'm gonna drag that there. Adjust our font settings here. Make it a little bigger. We can enable a custom font. I'm not gonna mess with it for the purposes of this. You might want to. And we're gonna add the labels. Uh, Tips, latest, latest tipper. Do the same thing here. Make it bigger. Make the font size bigger. That's a good use of that space. We'll have our party added here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you have all the different normal stream elements, things you can add, and we're good. Uh, we can emulate our alerts. So, subscriber alert pops up right there. This does not appear to have our alert themes, however, so that is a little weird. Opacity is at 100%. Emulate follower. I might have to look into that, but for now, save. All right, now we copy the URL, open up our instance of OBS. Keep in mind, I did not add the badges. You cannot easily as that I know so far, I haven't looked super into it, but as far as I know, there's not an easy way to add image files to an, a stream element scene that you would then modify from there. So here we have what we normally set up. So follow the same steps for adding the badges to their own separate group, but instead of the overlays, we're going to turn all that stuff off. And we still have yucky stream element stuff in here. Get out of here, stream elements. No one wants you. So now instead of adding all these individual images or sizing things up yourself, we just add one browser source, se layout, paste in our URL, 1920, 1080, okay, and drag it down where we want our webcam and capture above it, since we're resizing below it, but otherwise we're good to go there. I appear to have exported that with both of the badge sizes selected, so that's my bad, but you get the idea. Then you can still set up hotkeys or whatever for your badges. Your party is still added as normal as the image sources that I showed you in the video. And all of this is now a dedicated stream element source. Now, I do want to test this again. Raid. That's not my theme. I don't know why it's not using my theme from everything else, but that's fine. You get the idea. Okay, then we add our video sources. So, for example, webcam, resize, and this is where the advantage of doing the transparency comes in, because I don't got to worry about super specific placement, because I can just use it, especially once you lock this layer of the stream elements layer, then I can just resize as I need to, kind of behind everything, and if it overlaps with other layers, I can just kind of crop there, and I'm good to go. And then we can add our game source, so I have... I think I already had sources for this setup from a year ago, which don't work anymore. So we'll add window capture to my 3DS capture card here. We will crop one off for left side, which is of course the top. Get it roughly sized up. Now this was sized for, <laughs> after all my talk about specific aspect ratios in that uh, video, this was sized for Nintendo DS, not 3DS. 3DS has a wider screen on top, but I can like squish it in here. It's fine. And again, move it below the layout so it's in the frame. And then same thing over here. We just got a Twitch follower. I'm not even live. And bam, there's our setup. 3DS in hand in the layout with the graphics and stream elements. To answer your question, yes, you can use my Pokemon layout tutorial with stream elements. This is how you do it. I do think this is a superior workflow, and I'm probably going to be showcasing this more in the future, though I do want to help teach people the right way to do everything in OBS Studio. 
But yeah, hope this was helpful. Hope this was simple. Yada yada. I gotta figure out. I think my alerts are a separate. Yeah, I need a I need a way to take these alerts and make them like synced to the stream elements because that's the issue is all of my custom alerts are in this scene not when I add alert box to here so I got to figure that out and dig deeper I want to do a lot of research and talk to the stream elements team before I make my course but there you go thanks for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe for more tech education and stream guides let me know what you think about this concept of a simple Sundays tutorial I'll see you later by the way I am putting this at the very end of the video just to not disrupt the tutorial I am closing my Floatplane account at the end of the year, or the end of the month now. Uh, I have notified on Floatplane, I've been trying to post about it, I have been moving all year everyone over to Nebula, the service that I own as part of the creators that own it. Much better solution, yada yada. Uh, Curiosity Stream is having a bundle, we, we partner with Curiosity Stream to where you get two sites for the price of one. It is less than $12 for you get it, to get a year subscription to help support me far more than honestly your float plane subs actually contributed to me so do consider it i'll throw the usual ad spiel at the end here but just wanted to let you know to further lock in my own stability as a creator i've built my own independent video site with my creator friends the site is called nebula and we've partnered with curiosity stream Nebula features YouTube's top education creators such as Legal Eagle, Thomas Frank, and MKBHD. My videos are higher quality there, ad-free, and often extended from the YouTube versions. Curiosity Stream saw what we were doing for education and wanted to form an alliance. If you click the link below, you not only get access to Curiosity Stream and their library of thousands of documentary and educational content, but you get access to Nebula and all of our edutainment over there as well. Two sites for the price of one. Better yet, Curiosity Stream is currently running a holiday promotion where you get 42% off an annual subscription. Not the usual 26, 42% off making it less than $12 per year for both sites. Absolutely wild. While you're there, check out Messages from Space to learn about how potential broadcasts of a different kind, this time from radio waves in space, are measured, analyzed, and studied for clues about alien civilizations. Head on over to curiositystream.com slash ebos for the best deal in streaming and get access to both sites for under $12 per year. 42% off. It's just bonkers. Just do it.